Eventide Media Center revolves around the local library that houses a collection of mysterious tapes. It is these tapes that make up the uploads on the channel. Each video is independent of one another. As of now, the channel has uploaded a total of 12 videos. They are strange, to say the least. They pull from real life situations where you normally would not feel uneasy and do the opposite. This is the backbone for the entire series, but there's one more thing. Eventide Media Center no longer exists. You see, the 12th video is not a regular video on the channel. It's the last video that they would ever upload for what the video contains ultimately brings the death of the channel and makes its creator step away from creating horror indefinitely. Today, we'll explore exactly what Eventide Media Center was and uncover what was on that final tape. In this video, they're collecting data from holes that have appeared in multiple places around the city. As they continue to move to different locations, the number and size of these continues to increase. And at the last location, they come face to face to what created these. This is the city's resource spending for quarter 3, and a whole 58% has gone into excavation, while they seem to be ignoring the importance of education, which only has 7%. Their plans for fourth quarter will continue these trends, as their goal is to expand the excavation project, cut down the cost of education, and update road infrastructure on Main Street. Pierce Osborne is against the excavation project, because the Church of Godsford is located on Main Street and claims that the excavation project has already been infecting the church. The priest is cut off and the excavation team is given the floor. Osborne then claims the project as being unholy as he storms out of the room. We also have elected churches, and uh, we can't stop blaming them. And here is a roadmap of our plan for the coming months of the project. And as you can see, our main plan is the future. Oasis Greenhouse showcases a variety of different plants. As the video progresses, we realize that humans are used as resources for the plants, which results in the growth of the plants.
The day is July 23rd, 1979, and the department has announced that they will be having a controlled fire the next day at 3.35 p.m. The said to be controlled fire spirals out of it. Cobwebs can be found in multiple tapes and may be a reference to Midnight Movie. Even though the title implies it, we will not be watching a movie, but instead the end of one. As is in short commercials, we're thrown into the final seconds of a film and it cuts to the credits. While the video initially appears to be the ending of a film, the credits reveal a chilling truth. You see, everyone listed in the memoriam are people that worked on the movie. Directors, lead roles, actors. Out of these people, only eight of them remained alive. Bluefish Water Park was initially uploaded number 10 on the series, but later removed. 
This is a training video for new employees at the Bluefish Water Park. The video seems normal at first with some questionable requirements until we reach the section on how to operate the slides. There are three slides at the park and after some foreshadowing, we learn about the third slide which is only open during fishing season. Inside the slide we find fish eggs laid by a gigantic fish which is referred to as special guest. After the fish died, the library deemed the tape as a hoax and removed it from their catalog. Throughout the series, an unsettling theme emerges, the devaluation of human life. The disregard of human life raises questions about the library's true nature. Unusual architecture speaks negatively on Lonell and Roger Penrose, the first to explore the idea of impossible shapes, as well as M.C. Escher, who popularized it through his art. Nuclear safety is a tape that solely consists of this. In Midnight Movie, after realizing the movie is non-fiction, it becomes apparent that it showcases the death of several actors and crew members, which somehow was allowed to be broadcasted to the public. In addition to these, the last tape is no exception, and arguably the worst. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand by for an important message from President Kelly Armstrong of Clinton Creek Community College.
The series takes a dark turn with the upload of Crimson Creek, a video depicting a shooting at a community college. A key part is the last three seconds of the video, where we see a top-down view of a campus with an audio snippet of a woman reporting the shooting. The controversial nature of the upload led to criticism on Twitter, accusing Aiden of exploiting a tragic event for shock value. Overwhelmed by the backlash, Aiden made a final post apologizing for the video and declaring himself unfit for creating horror. He then deleted all traces of Eventide Media Center, including the original series and his online presence. The opinions within the community regarding Aiden's actions were divided, some blaming cancel culture on Twitter for attacking Aiden, others commenting that the deletion of everything was an overreaction, some suggesting he should have removed the video and uploaded a modified version without the controversial ending, and some being disappointed with the upload.